The impact of 5G on the synchronisation market, at least initially, is very minimal, especially when compared to 4G and 4.5G migrations. This is because end-to-end -end phase synchronisation requirements are still 1.5 microseconds. This is good for operators as it enables them to roll out services much faster. However, when it comes to the development of coordinated multipoint and intercellular carrier aggregation, things become a little more challenging. There are two reasons for this. Firstly, there are new requirements for front hall phase synchronization of 130 nanoseconds between the distribution unit and the remote radio head. Even though this sounds difficult to overcome, it shouldn't delay operators if they choose highly accurate timing solutions that can meet evolving standards. Secondly, and most importantly, the biggest obstacle will be the migration from SIPRI to eSIPRI, especially if it's done over new front hall packet network and not the same point-to-point -point fibre network that's used in today's SIPRI environments. What's more, eSIPRI is a much more distributed model that involves connecting the distribution unit and the remote radio head. And let's not forget that it also delivers phase synchronization through PTP. Here, the number of PTP clients that a PTP Grandmaster has to support is not the number of broadband-based units anymore. It's the number of remote radio heads that count, as the PTP is terminated here and not at the broadband-based units. As such, PTP Grandmasters require far more scalability. There are currently two approaches to support these challenges. The distributor approach uses a small Grandmaster or integrated Grandmaster, like our OSA 5405. The operator deploys this in the distribution unit and then only needs this device to support the number of connected remote radio units, each as a PTP client, and this should only be in volumes of 10. The centralized approach uses a much larger Grandmaster as it clusters together many remote radio heads and distribution units. As such, there are ultimately many more PTP clients that need to be supported. This approach often uses a 10G interface, and this is where our OSA 5430 fits so well. Both approaches have their benefits, and there's no one size fits all. To learn more about how Asiloquartz can help you, please visit www.asiloquartz.com.